Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I thought I was gone for tonight, but child, I tell you, these streets never rest. The social media streets never rest, honey. You have to leave the streets because it's going to always be something going on. But I thought I was finished for tonight. But I am going to be finished after this particular uh, video. I just couldn't let it rest. I couldn't. I couldn't let it rest. <laughs> I tell you, in the time, my housewives of Atlanta women are out there being fraudulently fake and rude to the public. There's going to be heads to roll over here on my show, child. I don't know if y'all know or not, but I'm sorry. Hey, welcome to the channel. Thank you for coming over to Dale Chanel's 48th World's Home, okay? Thank you for partaking and taking some time out with me, okay? I'm appreciative. Yes, I am. I'm so appreciative. Let me cut off this heat. I'm getting sweaty. But anyway, I just had to come back on the tube, child, and get into this little story about Nene Leeds, girl. She done been out there in the public going to some little wig shop that every, you know, everyday normal people would go into you wouldn't expect for a celebrity of her caliber to be going into one of these little you know beauty supply stores that's run by the asian community yes this is the photo that's surfacing out there now girl she went up into an establishment such as that looking for i don't know what but some fans, yes, and I ain't talking about in the heterosexual community. I'm talking about in the gay community. They were out there uh, shopping and minding their own business and stuff. And who walks up in the door? Honey, NeNe Leaks. Girl, they try to give them a one-two hello, how you do. Try to tell her how glad they are that they got a chance to see her. She's one of their favorites and this, that, and the third. Honey, Nene paid them dust. <laughs> Taking me all the way back to that scene where she was at uh, Hartsfield Airport trying to catch a plane. And somebody else, one of her faves, tried to come up and give her love, show her love, whatever. And she was ready to call security on their behind. I'm like, what the hell is going on with Nene? Is she actually throwing up her uh, gown? Her, her uh, presence of being on the Real Housewives of Atlanta Hill. Just recently, she got into it with Andy Cohen. Now she back getting into it, and especially with the gay community. You know how they are. And they love they say some nene. On that, it just takes for her to be just nonchalant with one of them. One tells one, one tells the other, and it becomes a whole pack where they boycott nene. All right? Child. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. What is wrong with Nene, y'all? What is wrong with her? She don't like it with us, you know, the heterosexual community. She got to shade us, tear us down in time. She feels like it, okay? We see that on the show. But I ain't never see her go against uh, the gays. I never seen that. But now they on her ass. Now, y'all, I'm like, what is going on with leaks? I'm like, Nene, I know you have an assistant, honey. If you just too fit to be tied with society and the human beings that reside in it, just send somebody out to do your shopping, okay? Because I don't know. I don't know what's going on. How, how you going to be so nasty and so rude to viewers of your show? And especially if they're coming out there saying, hey, hey, girl. They expecting the nene they see on the show to come out and be well-rounded and well-versed and just want to give out hugs and kisses because you were showing out at the Gay Pride up in New York City. And now you're going to turn around and treat some gay individuals like you don't know them. Like they, like who are they to be talking to you? Girl, have you been cloned in it? Have you been cloned, girl? Are we not looking at the real nene? I'm just asking because I, I really don't understand. I really don't how you can just say, you know, you all of that. But, I mean, you ain't Queen Elizabeth. Where's your entourage? Where's your security guards and stuff? Okay. You're not a true, true celebrity in the celebrity world of ratchetness. Okay. But a true A-lister actress? No. 
What's going on with you, Nene? Girl, you damaging everything you don't work so hard for. You need us. You need supporters. Okay? If nobody's checking for you, do you think your revenue will be as it is? Are you really wanting to be the villain towards everybody in society? Well, you just don't thumb your nose up and thumb your hands up to all the human beings in the world, girl. Child, but let's get on into the story that Sandra Rose. She's a blogger. She got it the first thing that I saw. Okay, Sandra Rose, go on over there and see her. SandraRose.com, honey. They say fans drag Nene. Leaks on Facebook after rude encounter in weeks, though, child. Mm-hmm. Just brought it out today. It says television personality Nene Leaks was unbothered, okay? When two fans interrupted her shopping excursion at a budget, <laughs> that's another way of saying cheap, budget lace front wig shop in Atlanta recently. I'm like, wait a minute, hold up, girl. Weren't you supposed to be a spokesperson for somebody's wig company? I, I'm for what was it called? Color main wig, something like that. What you don't really need? You don't got mean and nasty with them, so they don't took that. Um, so we call it a uh, sponsorship from you, girl. What's wrong with color main wig? Y'all remember that? Cause I did a video on that, trying to up up one saying, "Go on to get your money, girl." And you up in a, a budget lace front wig company store? You, yeah, she over there. Y'all like, you know, little Asian folk be having their little shops like that throughout the black community. And you go down for, you know, cheap apparel, cheap earrings, anything you can find in now that looks, you know, something you want to wear for a couple of days, but not, you know, longevity. And she's over there looking, advertising. And she like, she don't know nobody. Like, she could just walk out the house now and nobody's going to recognize her. Child, Nene in the twilight zone. But let's go on and finish this article. It said the woman who appeared to be Nene was apparently, women, the woman who appears to be Nene was apparently deep in thought when the fans approached her to say hi. Now, Nene, Nene didn't have her phone to play like she was talking on it, you know, because she always had that phone out and nobody's on the other end, but she going to make like somebody on the end. So she don't have to be bothered with, you know, the public. All right. But it goes on to say, um, one fan dragged Nene in a post on Facebook saying Nene ignored her or ignored her friend and gave him a disgusted stank face when he tried to say, hey, now up there in the store, you know, I'm sure it ain't in Decatur nowhere. It's out there in um, Buckhead area. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay, but she gave the man the stank look, like he had did something to him. Like, Damn, it, it, saying hey is a crime now. I guess in any world it is. If she don't ask for you to come, she don't want you to come towards her. I'm like, who, who do that? Who do that? That's when you have your own shopping person to go out there and take pictures of stuff they see, and then you say yes or no, and they bring it to you. That's the type of attitude you're carrying around. You can't go out in the public with that type of attitude. You'll get clocked, honey. Anyway, going back to the article, it said the fan noted that Nene should be more appreciative of the gays who are her main fan base. And I'm telling you, she was showing out at New York Gay Pride. You know what I'm saying? Acting like she would did that and third, like she would want herself. And now she going to come back and just be disrespectful. Hell, not just disrespectful to the gays, but just a human race. Like, oh, Nene, I'm not liking you, girl. I'm not liking you. Now, I already pulled you down. Took the, um... <laughs> title from you your self-appointed title being an og and you this is definitely not og material behavior Woo. child let's get back on into this article it said in nini's defense she wasn't looking her best that day and maybe she didn't want to be recognized okay we do like michael jackson just really make yourself up to you know you <laughs> You just got on, I, I'm going to say a mask, but you got on like dark shades and you got on a burgundy wig. Something to fit that, you know, not saying you in the wig that you love to be in, which is those blonde color wigs. You know, you can make yourself up to be a totally different per, a total different person if you want to, if you try to real hard, honey. But anyway, 
In photos that accompany the post, Nene wears a blonde wig, a white tee, and black baggy cargo pants and black combat boots. Like, where is she going, Lord? Where is she going to the service or something? Um, it goes on to say, your auntie highlighted the parts of the post that were confusing. Who is the him and he they keep referring to? And this is how somebody's, uh, this is talking about off of somebody's. Because they don't blur it out any, everything pretty much. But what it goes on to say, it's on somebody's, uh, inst well, now I'm going to say Instagram. It might be a Twitter account, but I'm not really sure. And I'm not going to show it on my account, but I'll read it to y'all. I shall sure will. It says, uh, feeling annoyed. So, yeah, I'm thinking it's on somebody's Twitter account. Because they, they hide the icon and everything, child. But anyway, they do the uh, copyright disclaimer. I do not own the rights to be the foot. Um, I do not own the right to the photographs used in this post on the section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowances made for fair use of photographs for purposes such as par priority, par parody, criticism, commentary, news reporting, education, and research. So they're putting, on, they putting that on out there now, okay? But um, it goes in to say, so I am in Atlanta. Just shopping with the girls at a wig store. And in comes Atlanta Real Housewife, Miss Nene Leakes. Yes. So my girlfriend, who's a big fan, noticed him and says, hey, it's Nene. And then tries to say hello, Nene, which she literally ignored and didn't move a muscle to my friend. Then tries to say hello again and adds how much she loves her and that she is her fave. The fucking, oh, I'm sorry, the effing itch. Then tried to ignore her again. But after a moment of thinking slowly, he turned, forced himself to say thank you. And if it was such a struggle to even form the words, now, mind you, I wasn't trying to say, hey, because she ain't itch to me. And after that, I feel more than assured I was correct in my judgment of her. I can't stand a itch who thinks she who she thinks she is so much better than the people who make up most of her fan base the gays not me itch you ain't itch on the show or in real life so please have several seats cause itch if you are that itch who's so rich and above us then what the f you're doing up in this cheap ass wig store looking mad as uck for itch bye you ain't even hot right now to be feeling yourself that much. Maybe four or five years ago. But I'm pretty sure you've done had your nine minutes of fame. Fella, so humble yourself, sir. It's not going to hurt you any trust. <laughs> Child, is that major shade thrown at Miss Nene Lee? Honey, they were mad. They were mad. But like I said, they're going to tell their friend. Their friend going to tell somebody. Before we know it, they're going to be boycotting Miss Leaks up in the camp. Okay. But again, like I said, if you go to SandraRose.com, her vlogging um, website, I'm sure she still has it on them. But I do have my little picture of Nene in her military outfit. Okay. She love them white tees. I know uh, servicemen when they're not actively doing anything and they kind of just... You know, lounging around. They love them white tees too, girl. I'm like, Nene, maybe you should have went to the service. But maybe you should have went to the service. Because whatsoever done crawled up your snatch. It's not affecting you just on TV. You coming out in the mainstream public. Interacting with common folks. And you acting like they are beneath you. To even come and think they could say hey to you. But they pay your salary. I don't, I don't get that. Why would you bite the hand that feeds you? Child, please. Let me go get my sinus behind butt in the bed. But I just had to just throw that story out to y'all. Because how we get down here at Dev Snail 48 World Girl. Your girl gents. <laughs> Child. Okay, but I let it play again. I, play, I let it play again on L. Where you see her in her little comeback outfit i guess you would call it like she finna go uh 
assassinate somebody in a sense. So I don't know, but she sure well looking mad, huh? And I'm I'm surprised she didn't try to slam the phone down on whoever was recording her as far as getting that little picture. Mm-hmm. Cause we saw what she did in the airport to some uh, freelance photographer. She put through, through his phone down, child. And I know he got another one and probably got some on it on the top end because you just don't do that to folks. You don't know them. That hand slap could have come into some. Oh, she don't upset me. I'm just fearful. <laughs> type of scenario. Girl, she, he could have said he would traumatize. But, honey, that's how Nene was acting. Like, she was just so unbothered, looking all mean and stuff. I'm like, girl, you need to tweak that medication. Or you need to talk back to your spiritual counselor. Because some ain't working for you, baby. Some ain't working. Shoot. If you don't want to be bothered, don't come out the house, honey. Go on and get you some assistance to help you with your grocery shopping. With your apparel shopping. With your et cetera, et cetera, et cetera type of shopping. Because you just can't come in an old little rinky-dink or uh, establishment where everybody can see you and want to holler your name. Because they just starstruck or they just didn't think they would be seeing somebody of your caliber coming into a shop that they normally partake of on a weekly basis. And I know they was like, damn, what did he do down here? I can afford this. Surely she could afford a lot more than that. So it's just tell telling. But I'm still trying to figure out what, that, what happened to that weird company you were supposed to be supporting. And um, getting sponsorship off of them by telling everybody to go purchase their weeds. What you doing over there, Nene? That's the uh, shot. Somebody caught of her and some cheap wig stuff, beauty supply stuff. Mm hmm. But like I said, it's over there in Buckhead somewhere, child. They have it too. It's going to be right in the rich part over there by Lennox. You know, having that stuff like that. But they be having some areas. Mm -hmm. Probably over there where Kenya Moore was selling her beauty products at that Sally Beauty Salon. They usually be in competition over in the same area competing against one another. Because that's another beauty chain as well. They, well, they don't sell wigs. Yeah, I don't think so. But they sell like shampoos, conditioners flat iron type material to press your hair out and color materials yeah not everything that a cosmetologist person would probably need mm -hmm. but all right y'all y'all enjoy y'all evening and i will be back with you all tomorrow getting out some most salacious stories on whatever vlogging site i can get them from uh, ooh, child I, I might not even rest tonight because i'm kind of concerned about nene y'all throw prayers up for her honey that's her. That's her. That's her. But no. Mm -hmm. They ain't get the real. They didn't get the real front. But they got the side, girl. That's her. That's her. But all right, guys. I'll talk to y'all soon for another video. Not tonight. Tomorrow, definitely. But y'all be blessed. Have a good night. And I'll see you next video. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share my videos, like them, comment in that section, honey. But subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you. Bye.